Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, this is my first video on the 2018 15 inch maxed out MacBook Pro. And I've got to say, this thing is an absolute beast. And uh, today while I was waiting for it to get delivered, um, I was actually just browsing Mac rumors here and I saw this post and uh, it's YouTuber claims 15 inch MacBook Pro with upgraded core i9 chip is severely throttled due to thermal issues. And when I saw this, I thought, wait a minute, I already talked about this in my other video. So if you guys are subscribed to me, you guys already know I predicted that the i9 would have some throttling. So this is nothing new to me. Uh, I actually could totally see this happening uh, because it's happened in the past. In fact, it's happened multiple times with multiple different MacBook Pros in the past. Um, so the fact that this is blowing up online right now, and I mean, if I scroll down here, look at how many comments are over a thousand comments, which is absolutely ridiculous because most of these, you know, posts get like 30 to 100 maybe max. Uh, so this thing has a thousand and people are freaking out. A lot of people saying that they're returning their i9 MacBook Pros because of this guy's video, just this one dude's video. It's Dave 2D and if you guys don't know him, uh, he's got like 1.4 million subscribers. He's pretty big. Um, and a lot of his videos come off as ve very genuine and you know legitimate, um, but he's done stuff in the past that's, uh, it's, it's very low key sponsored stuff. So uh, once I found that out, uh, I was kind of like, eh, you know, some of the stuff he doesn't dis disclose very well, in my opinion. Um, so that kind of put me on edge a little bit. So I started taking his videos with a bit of a grain of salt. Now he does, he's made a, quite a few videos uh, bashing Apple in the past couple weeks. He even made one bashing the Dell uh, for bad thermals. And now he's bashing this MacBook Pro that I'm using basically right now um, for having bad thermals. And I will be the first to say, Apple's MacBook Pros have never had the greatest thermals in the past few years. Like in the past, I don't know, let's say five years, they haven't been the best. Uh, before that, they were a little chunkier and there was more airflow. But nowadays, yes, they are very thin, very light, and it's really what most people want. I mean, everyone wants a sexy looking laptop. I know you can say, go on in the comments saying, oh, I would much rather a laptop that doesn't throttle. I don't care how thick it is. Yes, you do. When you're carrying this thing around, uh, you know, to college and, you know, classes, you want something that's thin. When you look at a MacBook Pro, you say, wow, that is designed impeccably well. That looks so professional and so good. Apple's known for their design. It's kind of one of the problems here. Everyone was asking for these Intel chips, these core i9s, these six core chips uh, to be put into these. And Apple's like, hey, okay, you want it? Here you go. And they just stuck it in this uh, this frame of this MacBook Pro. Now, do I think this is being exaggerated? A little bit. However, if you read this report right here, uh, other reports of excessive i9 throttling have been trickling in from Reddit users who have purchased a 15 inch MacBook Pro with the high end chip. These threads are available here and here. So I have it. I've only been using it for a few hours. I haven't been able to push it to its limits yet. I'm still setting it up. The way, one thing I don't like is that you can't set the uh, fan speeds anymore on these with the T2 chip which kind of sucks. So uh, I know there's a couple programs, but uh, they're kind of sketchy and I'm waiting for iStat menus to uh, update that. But anyways, back to the throttling. Do I think this thing will throttle? Absolutely. Uh, do I think it'll be super bad, you know, terrible? Do I think you should return your MacBook Pro? No, I don't. Um, however, again, I need to do more internal testing on my own um, with different, you know, benchmarks and even just rendering videos, see how it does. But I'm pretty sure every computer I've ever had has throttled a little bit and uh, I'm really not worried about it. Now, with that said, if you are looking to save a few bucks, some people say the i9 or the i7, excuse me, the i7 is about as good as the i9 because of the throttling issues. Um, I can't confirm that. I've also, I've also seen that the quad core 13 inches, some people are saying that those are throttling. So. I think they're all gonna throttle. It depends on your environment. Um, in his testing, he actually didn't uh, put the other, he put it, He put the MacBook Pro in a freezer to prove his point. And yes, of course it was, it you know exported quicker in the freezer because it has super cold, but he didn't do that to the other laptop that was he was testing it against. He tested two different computers, two different CPUs. It really just wasn't an overall very good video to kind of demonstrate what he was trying to say. Now, everyone's jumping on the bandwagon to shit on Apple for this. And uh, if it is, if mine actually does throttle as badly as people are making it out to be, of course, that will be terrible. I spent like 3,500 bucks on this thing. Uh, I want it to be good. Um, but with that said, I'm not really worried. This thing is going to be a monster for most things. And unless I'm going to be pushing tons of power on it for like, you know, 10 minutes straight, 20 minutes straight, 30 minutes straight, even up to an hour, that's when you're going to really see the issues. Uh, when it gets just too hot to handle, it'll just slow down the CPU a little bit to try to cool it off. Um, but I'm not really worried about that. I'll let you guys know. Of course, I'll keep you in the loop. That's kind of the plus side of me having a YouTube channel and buying, you know, $3,500, $3,700 equipment. I will keep you guys in the loop. I'll let you guys know my experience with this thing um, because, hey, I'm going to have firsthand experience. And trust me, if this thing throttles the way that everyone's saying, I will be pissed. 
okay? Just trust me on that because I have so much work that I need to do on this machine. Um, but just stay tuned for more on that. Uh, don't just trust one video, okay? I urge you guys, do not ever do that. Even if you're just watching my video, don't just trust everything I say. Go do more research, you know? Don't just trust one person. Don't just watch Dave's video here and say, oh, all the MacBook Pros suck. He could have got a faulty unit. There are so many different variables that go into these things um, that are just unforeseen. So keep that in mind, take everything with a grain of salt, and uh, I will try to give you guys, you know, the best overall idea of this machine. Uh, so if you did get one, maybe use it for the 14 day Apple uh, refund window because uh, you can always return it within those 14 days. Uh, and if you haven't got one yet, stay tuned to this channel. I'll keep you guys up to date. And again, watch other channels, kind of see what, what people are saying about these MacBook Pros. Stop rambling about this, but this really got under my skin a little bit to see everyone just shitting on Apple and this MacBook Pro in particular, because if you, if you watch other people's videos, not everyone is having this issue. Um, there are certain people that are, certain people that aren't, and I think it depends on what they're doing. For example, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, Dave2D was doing a Premiere export. Uh, and in case you don't know, Premiere is not optimized for macOS at all. It's more for Windows, and that's what he was comparing it against. This MacBook Pro just came out, so nothing's really optimized for it yet. Um, he was trying to say that last year's quad core was better than this year's i9, you know, maxed out. It's just, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Again, I'll keep you in the loop. I'll let you know. I know this video is all over the place, but I'm just super excited to have this thing. It is a beast. So I'll keep you guys in the loop. Like I said, thumbs up, subscribe for more. Hit the little bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.